Today we're in Moundville, Alabama. We're at the archaeological site of Native Americans. We're on the Black Warrior River. We're going to go check out the mounds. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. Let's go check it out. Okay, y'all. I was going to let y'all check out the Black Warrior River. It was once excavated. But when the Native Americans lived here, there used to be a fort made of wood lined up down there. The fortress off the land, Black Warrior River. As we walk to the mounds, I can tell you a little bit about the haunted history. This is on the haunted ghost trail of Alabama. People here as known to seeing orbs, hear drums at night, and horses running. And they have a museum here full of artifacts. And the workers there said. If they hear doors slamming and shutting and noises. Okay, guys, behind me they have these huts with displays in them. We're going to go in there and check them all out. Burial ceremony. Like earlier and later Indians, burial customs of the Moundville people were buried. The Moundville most were buried in cemeteries, but some are buried in the floors of houses. Scientists theorized that Moundville evolved from the thriving city to most abandoned ceremonial center frequently used for funerals. As this change occurred, people stopped burying their dead in the floors of their houses and began placing them in the cemeteries. To the right of the deceased, a man mourns loose his kinsman. He holds cedar, a sacred plant, to be placed in the grave. Further to the right, a marker of medicine plays and chants blessings on the grave of the dead person. A mother of the child kneel beside the grave to bury items needed in their departed loved ones for travel on paths of souls. To the left and rear of the scene stands an elderly woman in mourning. Malville Artisans. One woman forms a bowl made from local clay. The Indians create a wide variety of vessel forms and most ceremonies used next to her in the center a woman grinds local mussel shells to be mixed in the clay a deer hide stretched over a wooden frame hides were commonly used for clothing footwear bags and matting oh yeah it's working on the, the deer skin and hides All right, guys, the spot we're at now, we've seen on Google Earth, look like the sun, two half-shaped moons. Thought I'd come down here and check it out. I didn't know if it was made with stone, but it don't look like it's made with stone. Okay, uh, we're walking up on the museum now. I'm not sure if we're going to take the tour today. We'll go over here and look at the sign. There's a mound behind it that you could walk up. It has stairs to walk up on, but in just a little bit, we'll make it to the chief's mound, which you can walk on. Okay, y'all, we're now in the museum. We're gonna take the tour, look around. They have it set up. The pipes, the old Indian pipes. They have all the furs, the pottery. Looks like bear fur, buffalo. Portal to the Starry Path. Let's go check it out.
more ceramic pottery. Guys, look at this dude. He's got a smile on his face, just chilling. That was ancient. So we was doing all on research and we heard in 1980 that they stole 230 pieces of pottery. It wasn't until 2018 they got back three bowls of the original stolen pottery. It says in 1980, 200 artifacts were stolen from the, the uh, archaeological repository of the University of Alabama Museums. Three vessels were recently recovered and returned. So those are the three they recovered in 2018. That's interesting. came behind the museum. I think you're able to walk up here. Let's go up here and check it out. A perspective of power. That's what it used to look like. Image of a clan chief 800 years ago standing exactly where you are. It's possible he would see something resembling this artist's rendering. Moundville has 29, used to have 29 mounds. The city here had a thousand people in it, a thousand Native Americans that lived throughout here. Most of these mounds had houses on them for the elite stayed on the top of these mounds. You guys, this is some Indian artwork. It's supposed to be the one-eyed rattlesnake mural. I'm not sure what it meant. They believed in all kind of supernatural beings and everything. The Mounville people had a rich belief system that we know about because of the artistic work they left behind. The rattlesnake disc state artifact of Alabama illustrates the, this very well. The hand and eye design in the center of the rattlesnake is thought to represent a portal into the sky as souls travel through after death. Some Native American tribes view these three stars that made up Orion's belt as the hand in the sky. Mound B. This mound in front of you is probably once served as a platform for the principal chief's house. The noble who lived was an extremely important politic and religious figure. It's likely the chief exclaimed, claimed to have divine relationships with supernatural beings whose powers could be harnessed. Alright guys, we're going to go up there and check it out. made it to the top of the largest mound out here here's a marker I'm gonna hold it here for a second so y'all can read somewhat about it politics and power So this was Chief Tuscaloosa's mound. Okay guys, since we're up here, we're gonna try the spirit box. See if we get any answers. Might have a couple questions to ask. We brought the K2 meter. We'll see if that'll go off or get any action. Are there any spirits here that wanna communicate? Is Chief Tuscaloosa here? Is 
if any spirits are here on this land, could they come and touch the device we have? They say investigators come out here and investigate and pass out for unknown reasons. And they see orbs and hear drums at night. And Do you know that we're on the Indian Chief's mound? What was your tribe called? What were y'all known as? Were you Cherokee? You speaking Muskegon Indian native language? Can I speak with the chief? Okay, guys. We're going to go over that suit we captured. We're going to walk around with the K2 meter. See if it goes off. If you're here, can you come touch this device in my hand? Guess we're trying. It can't hurt to try. We came all this way. I say it's haunted and it's on the Alabama Ghost Trail. That's number seven. Any information to this place, I'll put in the links. I'll put the link in the description. Can you come touch the device I have in my hand? All right, guys, we tried. All right, guys, let's include today's adventure at Moundville. I hope you enjoyed it. We got to see a lot, learned a little bit. See you on the next adventure. Peace.